Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Kevin, and this is The Wrench and Fool. So in this video, we're going to be covering a fairly common seasonal issue that I see coming up uh, for people who are driving electric vehicles, particularly those who are either new to driving electric vehicles uh, or just don't really understand them that well. And that is slow DC fast charging speeds in cold weather. We're going to be going over uh, why that is, uh, what things you can do to try to alleviate that concern, and we're also going to, sh I'm going to actually show you what happens when you try to charge uh, an electric vehicle, DC fast charge, uh, when the battery is cold. So let's head over to the charger and get started. Okay, we're plugged in. Let's see what happens with our charging speed. Just locked the cable. Should be charging any minute. There's the beep. So what we just saw there was a typical uh, a typical uh, characteristic of the bolt. It will ramp up to a higher charging speed, but then it kind of goes, oh, it's cold, and then it stops back down. So we've leveled off here. It looks like at about 27 kilowatts, which is almost dead on half of the speed of uh, the peak charging speed of the bolt, uh, which is about 54 to 55 kilowatts. So again, that's not even on a really super cold battery. I think we were at 55 degrees. Let me just take a quick look here. Yeah, 55 degrees. It's fired up the battery heater now. The battery heater is pulling almost two kilowatts. So that's about as much as it will do. And that's just what's gonna happen. Um, and again, not a particularly cold battery, just sort of typical for this time of year in this climate. So what's the reason that it does this? Uh, well, basically, most lithium batteries prefer to operate at about a temperature that a, a typical human being would find comfortable. So usually it's somewhere around between 70 and 80 degrees is the optimal sort of comfortable temperature for a lithium battery, just the same as it's a comfortable temperature for you and I. Um, if you start getting much colder than that, uh, particularly on the colder end of things when charging, uh, it really limits your speeds. So even now at 55 degrees and at a, a perfect state of charge for where we should be able to get peak charging speeds, uh, I think I arrived here at like 3% state of charge. It's up to 4 now. We should be getting more than 50 kilowatts at this point. Uh, on a 150 kilowatt charger, we're getting 27. So that's just the reality of this. And even with a 2 kilowatt battery heater, even if it had been running that battery heater the entire way here, uh, it's about a 10 minute drive to get to this charger. Um, this is what you're going to see. You know, it's, a, it's almost a thousand pounds of mass for the battery. A two kilowatt heater is not going to warm that up very fast. I kind of expect that we might hit near the peak charging speed once we get up to about 50%. Um, basically right, to the, right before the point that it would naturally taper down to 38 kilowatts anyway. Uh, but it takes a long time to heat up that mass, that much mass of battery. So I'm going to sit here, we're going to charge for about 30 minutes, and I'm just going to see what sort of battery percentage we can get up to. Right, 30 minutes later, well, 30 minutes for me at least, and we are at 36%, just ticked over 31 minutes there. But you can see we're getting almost peak speeds. Um, if you look at the uh, the camera there showing the gauge cluster, it's showing about 50 kilowatts, 51 going into the battery. Um, at the state of charge we're at right now, I think it's somewhere around 35%. Uh, 
we're that's pretty good that's about peak speeds so i think we're probably up to near uh 70 degrees 37 percent state of charge there so we're probably up to about 70 75 degrees in the battery pack uh, but that means it took us 30 minutes to heat up the battery from you know a relatively mild cold temperature 55 degrees ish up to 75 degrees or we're getting peak speeds and i can remember from a previous video uh, when we got full charging speed the entire time, it charged from 10% to 50% in 30 minutes. We charged from 3% to about 35, 36%. So that's quite a bit of a slowdown. But that just goes to show you what happens when you charge with a cold battery. So what are some things that you can do to reduce this amount of cold temperature uh, charging speed throttling? Well really the best thing that you can do is try not to charge your battery when it's too cold. If you're on a road trip and you get the battery down to near uh, to a fairly low state of charge to where you would need to charge it um, and it's later in the evening, charge the battery before you park for the night. If you're pulling into some place late at night and, the, and it's going to be cold the next overnight and into the next morning and you're going to need to charge before you leave, charge when you get there instead of before you leave. Chances are if you've been driving the car for a while the battery's already warmed up a fair bit. It's at least going to be better than what it's going to be the next morning after it's been sitting outside in the cold for you know six, seven, eight plus hours. Uh, and additionally when you are plugged into one of those types of chargers typically it will run the battery heater and keep the battery at a warmer temperature so that if you leave the next morning and drive to the point where you need to charge that same day the battery is going to be that much warmer so just a couple of thoughts there the other thing that you can consider if you really have no other option you absolutely have to charge uh, try to charge in a cold battery try to warm up the battery as much as you can on the way to the charger uh, as long as you have enough charge left in the battery uh, you can try doing what some people call yo-yoing um, of course do this within the 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 legal speed limit and the whatever is legal in your area but basically you accelerate hard and then completely let off the throttle and try to re regenerate as much power as possible so you're going back and forth between um, hard acceleration and hard deceleration using regenerative uh, breaking back into the battery uh, that's one of your best bets for trying to get some quick temperature into the battery that's going to be faster than trying to use the battery heater um, which is not even an option on every car. But that's that's sort of your last resort. You would rather, it would be better to just try and not get into that situation in the first place where you have to charge on a cold battery. Anyway, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I know this is the first video I've posted, but I've actually filmed several videos and I'm in the process of editing them now. I think I've got close to 20 videos that are almost ready to be posted online. This is just the first one that I've put up because it's sort of a seasonal and it's timely for the moment. So if you like this kind of coverage, there's going to be a lot more about EVs, uh, my 2019 Bolt, also a 2020 Kona Electric that I own. Um, I've got several other cars that I also own. We can go over those. Uh, some work in the shop. I work as an automotive technician, so there's going to be stuff where I'm working on vehicles in the shop. So lots of stuff to go over, lots of stuff I've already got filmed and will be coming out within the next few weeks. So if you want to see more about that or more videos like this, please hit the, sub hit the subscribe button. If you liked this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It would really help try to get the channel off the ground. Otherwise, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.